So this is Research Methods Unit 4, Part 2, on Validity and Control. Now, the concept we're going to be learning in this short set of slides has to do with two general kinds of experimental designs. And the two are called within-participant and between-participant. Sometimes you'll see this as within-subject or between-subject, but that's a term that is archaic and hasn't been used for about a decade when the American Associ the Psychological Association decided that subject was not an appropriate term for someone who participates in a study. Now, the reason why it's important to talk about these two kinds of designs is that they represent two different ways of maintaining control. Namely, within participant designs are those where a participant serves as their own control. And the way that they do that is that you test a person twice. Once with a manipulation and once without. Whereas between participant designs are those where there's one control group and one experimental group. And control is exerted by randomizing who goes into the control group and who goes into the experimental group. So, here's a gla an example of a within-participant design. In the first column, you have the participant, one, two, three, four, five, and you see their performance in the second and third columns on a control test and an experiment test. Let's imagine that this is their performance with a um, anxiety drug, which is the experimental test, and with a placebo, which is the control test. And the idea here is that you can see that the performance on this test People who are in the control where they're taking the placebo, they do poorer on the test than when they're taking the anti-anxiety drug in the experimental condition. But the important thing to notice here is that people are, are tested, the same person is tested twice, once with the control, once with the experiment. 